Now I made it to Fairbanks. Uh, I'm just on a layover here on my way up to Barrow where I'm going to see the midnight sun. Sun for 24 hours a day. That's going to be interesting. So I'm just going on a little grocery run before I fly up to Barrow. to Nixuk in April. Yeah. That was a good trip. What's the latest you stay up usually? Uh, it's like know, two, three o'clock sometimes. Oh really? You know, but it, it, it gets a little darker than this, right? No? Not really. Um, At least I haven't noticed it. Huh. So I just get in my bedroom and Close the it's dark and go to sleep. So now it's 10.30 p.m. Sun is still shining. Michael showed me this relic that he, his friend. Uh, well, you can you can you can explain it. I uh, got this off a friend of mine that uh, found it on the beach more than 20 years ago and has kept it for that length of time. It's a walrus head, part of the walrus head, and the tusks. Uh, they aren't mounted in the head yet. It generally, when these are set up for display, they're mounted in the head and then they're put on a, on a like a walnut display board. Oh, okay. So that's definitely over 20 years old. This is, yeah, this is more than 20 years old. No whites can own it unless a native owned it first. Yeah, it has to, uh, ivory has to been owned by a native and they have to sign it as a piece of art before you can actually own it. Oh, okay. Uh, so only so only one out of the six teeth are still there, huh? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, it's about 11.15 now. And I brought my bicycle up here to Barrow. And even though it's 11.15 p.m., the light, I can still see the sun, but it's obscured by the clouds right now. But I'm gonna go to work. Even though it's 11.15 and uh, I'm going to work until 1 a.m. in the morning because I'm excited to see how it'll be like to ride home at night when well, there's actually no night. So I'll probably get home at 1.30 in the morning, which is going to be really exciting. So these are new houses that are going to be built. So people are still up at this time of day. So just past midnight and it's still light out here. Gonna work until about one o'clock tonight. So I just finished working my two hours. Now it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna bike back home. 
and I'm decided I'm gonna take the scenic route next to the Arctic Ocean. Hey, where are you guys going? What's that? Oh, seal hunting. Oh, seal hunting? Yes. How long are you be out for? Um, Until you find some? About five, six hours. Oh, all night? Yeah. That's cool. How far do you have to go out? Straight here, where all the ice is. Right there? Man. We're gonna head up north though. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. So there's a pretty good likelihood that we'll find a seal. Most likely, yeah. yeah. I know. Well, this is pretty fun. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go seal hunting now. They use a uh, gun. What kind of gun do you use? Uh, 223 AR-15. Oh yeah. After you shoot them, you harpoon it? Yes. Okay, how many seals do you think you'll find today? Well, we'll see a lot, but we're after the bearded seals. So which one? Bearded seals. Oh, the bearded ones? Yeah. That's okay. We make our skin close with. Oh yeah. Okay. You don't see any walruses here, yeah? Right. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> this is pretty good. So that was a pretty good 45 minute adventure after work. So now I'm gonna ride back. A little delay, but definitely worth it uh, on the Arctic Ocean. Didn't see any animals, but maybe next time. So there's sure a lot of mosquitoes, even in front of the camera. <laughs> 